Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss the different states of business object when we are working with the draft view and how we can traverse from one state to the another state. And when we are traversing, what all are the actions are triggering that we will see in detail. Let's get started. Whenever we work with the draft business object, each and every data which we create in the system, it will go through the different states. There are mainly three states. First is the new draft instance. Second is the active instance. Third is the edit draft instance. New draft instance, when some data you are creating newly. In our example, suppose we are creating the new travel ID or new travel we are creating. We are generating the new travel IDs and we are creating the new travel. In that case, first the new draft instance will be created. In the new draft instance, the data is not available in the database, neither in active table or nor in the draft table. It will be created newly. And as soon as you create this data, it will be saved in the draft table. And once you will save this data, this draft table will be from this draft instance, one another instance will be created that is called the active instance. And the active instance, as soon as you do the commit work, that will be saved on the active data, active database table. This is called the two states. Two states. First is the new draft instance, second is the active instance. Third state is the edit draft instance. Suppose you have already travel which you have created in the database, you want to change something there. So for doing that, what you will do, you copy the data from the your active table to the edit draft instance. And then you do the modification. Then again, you will convert that edit draft to the active instance. And then you will save to the that data to the database. So these are the three states when we work with the business object or draft business object. We'll discuss in detail, no need to worry. The first we will go with the new draft instance. As I told you, new draft instance, when we create, when the data is not already available in the active database table. That time, we create first new draft instance. How we can create the new draft instance? There is the multiple ways. The one way, if you're working on UI, then you will click on the create button automatically it will call the create modify create operation in backend using that you can do or you can do using the eml statement modify create operation you can write that modify create operation uh, in your code and then also you can create the new draft instance for creating the draft instance you have to make sure that is draft equal to true you have to make this indicator equal to true it will create the new draft instance you have to make sure that you are not creating the duplicates so your key you have to make sure that uh, uh, different each time you are creating the new draft instance and uh, most important thing you we have to understand this diagram also so i will try to explain in this slide itself because this diagram will repeat during our draft runtime and it is very important for us to understand what it is going on so as i told you there are three states new draft instance active instance and edit draft instance the new draft instance is creating when we are doing the modify create operation so whenever we are doing the create operation either through eml statement or from the fury you are clicking on create button that time if your business object is draft enabled then it will automatically come here with easy draft equal to true and you will create the new draft instance once you create the new draft instance either you will save immediately or you will stop working on that that data will be saved automatically whatever you are doing in the new draft instance that data automatically will save in the draft database table as soon as you enter that data and once you are happy with that data you will activate that data once you will click on save button until and unless you will not click on the save button the data will be always available in the draft database table if you stop working on that, you can start from another device, you can start next day. Till that time, the data will be available always on the draft database table. And you can restart working on that using the prepare resume button is there. 
prepare resume action is there not button prepare resume action as you as soon as you start working on that data this prepare resume action will trigger and you will start again working on the new draft instance as soon as you are happy with your data you will save that data then what will happen this new draft instance will be activated and active instance will be created first on the transactional buffer and then the this active instance will be saved to the active database table this active instance not only you can create from the draft instance you can create directly also if your business object is not draft enable if it is draft enable also and if you are using the eml statement and if you are using is a draft equal to false whenever you are using the create modify create operations to create the new entry in the database table and you are using the draft indicator as a false then it will not create the draft data it will directly create the active instance and it will save directly on the database table so you can create the active instance two way from the draft new draft instance uh, from the draft instance it can be new draft or edit draft you can activate the draft instance to the active instance and then you can create the active database table entry or you can create directly using the is draft equal to false third thing you saved your data now third state will come now you want to change your data which is already available in your active database table so what will happen one another action is there uh, that action is called the uh, edit action that we will discuss don't worry that what what it will do it will copy the data from active data table to the edit draft instance and we start working on the data again once we are happy with that data we will activate again then active instance is created and it will be saved in the active database table so this is how the edit draft instance will work the difference between the new draft instance and active draft instance new draft instance data is not already available it is not already available on the active database table in case of edit draft instance data is already available on the active database table we are copying the data from the active database table to the edit draft instance and then we are making the changes and then we are again saving in the active instance and further in the active database table so this is how it is working there are multiple ways you can trigger these draft instances we will discuss each and everything and if you don't want to save at any time you can discard any of the instance you can discard the new draft instance also active instance also or edit draft instance also so this is how this diagram look like now let's discuss further active instance we, here we discuss about the new draft instance in detail uh, we discuss entire diagram itself but i just want to discuss or want to make sure i didn't miss any point when we work with the active instance as i told you active instance can be created from the new draft instance from the edit draft instance or if you use the create modify statement where the is draft indicator is false that time also you can directly create the active instance and as soon as you commit work will happen or you do the commit entities using the aml statement or in, in case of the o data service or in front end the data is saved in the database during the save sequence this active instance data always save on the active data, active database table third is the edit draft instance as i told you edit draft instance is created by copying the data from the active database table to the draft database table and that will happen using the edit action button how we can create the draft as i told you there is two way you can create the new draft using the create modify statement or you can use the edit action to create the edit draft instance when we create the draft using the modify create request there is two important thing your draft indicator should be flag as a true and second thing you should call the all the field name which you want to create and this all, this modify create statement should be executed using the eml you can do via fury application as well you can click on create button that time also you can create the new draft when we talk about the edit action this edit action can trigger men using the program as well using the eml statement and second from your fury 
application from the object page you can click on edit button that time also this edit action will trigger but what this edit action will do we will discuss little bit in detail first thing it will copy the data from the active instance to the draft instance and then it will save the data from the in the draft table table parallelly as well when it will copy the data from the active instance to the draft instance before that it will lock it will put the exclusive lock on the your persistent table or you can say your active table not only you it will put the exclusive lock the, the two more thing it will do importantly it will change the instance authorization and instance feature control for that particular instance before executing this particular action and one more important regarding this edit action it edit action will have this importing parameter called the preserve changes preserve underscore changes if you don't pass any value it by default it is false that means it will override the existing draft if it is available on the draft table if it is true then what it will do it will reject your edit action request when you are working with the fury application and you are on the object page and you are clicking on edit button this preserve changes set value to true that means if the draft instance is available on the draft table that time it will reject your changes if it is not available it will create the new draft so this is how this edit action is working like that we will discuss one by one all other action as well now we will see how this edit action button work at runtime as soon as this is edit action will trigger what will happen in backend this each and every action which we'll gonna discuss apart from edit action in we will discuss the resume prepare delete those all the actions we will see these kind of diagrams whatever you can see in the yellow border that is performed by the end user whatever you can see the dark line dark black line that is performed by the framework and whatever you can see in the blue line that is also performed by the framework only but it developed by the developer it soon is the end user on the fury screen it will click on the edit button first thing will happen the global authorization check will trigger it will check user have this access to this actions or not if it have action the second thing the durable lock will be placed for that particular entity or for for that particular instance which user is asking to edit third thing it will copy the data from the active database table to the active instance which is available on the transactional buffer and the the authorization check will happen the user have the instance authorization and instance feature control will be triggered as i explained in my previous slide as well once everything is done the third thing will happen that preserve that preserve underscore changes flag is true that means it will discard the existing draft if it is available and if it is false means it will continue with the existing draft so what will happen if it is our draft means other draft is existing then it will discard the other draft and for the discard action this is discard is another kind of action for that action we can have the additional implementation for each and every action we can have the additional implementation is for our requirement these actions are the defined by the internally by framework if you want to do on top of this action anything else we can have additional implementation as well for edit also we can have the additional implementation but in this case for the discard will trigger discard action will trigger it will discard the existing draft if for that discarding additional draft there is additional implementation is there that will be executed then it will create the new draft if that flag is not relevant then it will directly create the draft and means there is no other draft is available then it will directly create the draft on the draft instance and if for this edit action we have implemented and any additional implementation that will be triggered so whatever you can see in blue that will be developed by us developer if you want something additional on top of whatever the edit actions 
are doing that we can do here these are the hook points we can develop our code as well and once this edit additional implementation triggered the commit entities on the draft instance will trigger and it will save the data on to the draft table once it is done this edit actions execution is completed and if it is uh, rejected due to that flag it will directly come here and it will clean up the buffer so this is how the runtime edit actions will trigger in the same way we will check that how create draft is triggered here we saw the two things one is the edit action and second is the create draft create draft can be triggered using the eml or from the theory as well the create draft almost similar only but little bit different because we are creating the new draft instance in this one we are changing the existing draft but when we creating the new draft that time it will check global global authorization you have the access to create the new draft or create the instance or not it will check the global feature control it will check the pre checks which we defined on the projection layer then it will check augmentations and then again it will check pre check which we have defined on the base view layer after everything is done this are we, we have implemented and it got checked there is two things since you are doing the creating the new draft it can be the case there is the early numbering case or it can be the late numbering it can be the internal numbering it can be the external numbering in case of external numbering because the number is already given by the user we will put the durable lock and then we we will check first the uniqueness check of that particular uh, key which again done by the framework only and set uniqueness con context to the user that is also done by the uh, framework only these two things and once it is done then durable lock will be placed in case of the internal numbering the framework will assign the keys it can be assigned by the internal numbering can be done by the framework as well and user we as a developer also we can implement the internal numbering if developer also do that also we can do and after this is done these two things we will create the draft instance on the application buffer first in case of the internal numbering uh, here we will put the lock in case of external numbering we have put here itself lock in case of the once the draft instance is created we will put lock after that we will put the lock and we will trigger the determination on modify what all are the determination is available on the modify those we will be triggered and once it is done on the draft we will save those all the data in the draft table and this create draft will be implemented like this this can be done using the create button or using the eml statement as well in this video we have discussed that how we can create the new draft instance and how we can create the added draft instance in my next video we will see how we can convert this new draft and added draft to the active instance and finally we can save the data to the database before going to that video please like this video subscribe my channel whatever you are feeling comment it down in comment section with that thank you and happy learning